Good morning, everyone, and welcome to your daily dose of your spiritual vitamin with me, Bonnie B. Now, today, I want to talk about something that's a little off the driven path, that's a little different from the discussions that most people are having, and it pertains to our children. I'm going to talk about cults. Cults. Cults and our children. The Lord has had me in studies pertaining to cults. He's had me in studies pertaining to how cults work. And I learned a few things. I learned that the nation of Islam is under federal investigation for the exploitation of children. And you say, now how does the nation of Islam exploit children? The nation of Islam exploiting children because one, they go to their parents, they deceive them into believing that they're going to give their children a better life. They deceive them into believing that these children are in better hands. When the reality of the situation is, whoever this preacher that's not Louis Farrakhan, it's another man. Last name is Jenkins. Um, Royal. His first name is Royal. They take these children and they use the scripture, just like Satan did. And they use the scripture and they contort it. They contort it to take out what they want to use in order to give it the power over the mind of the child. And then they exploit these children into working, into slave labor. They have them working in their bakeries. They have them working in their kitchens. They have them washing clothes. They have them doing whatever they need done as free labor. And all the money that they generate and that they make goes to royal. Now, see, I got a problem with this because, first of all, they're exploiting children. And they're trafficking them. Trafficking. Trafficking takes place when you put a child without his parents' permission on the back of a semi-truck. Take him to another state and tell them you're taking them to heaven. And these are little black children. That I'm talking about at this time. Because little black children aren't the only ones. You also have the 12 tribes. They're located in Portland, Oregon. Chattanooga, Tennessee. All of these type places. And they have them living in communes. And they brainwash these children into believing. That their way is the way, the way that God wanted it to be, but that's not the truth. They're they're in a cult. Jehovah Witnesses are well. Jehovah Witnesses are also being federally investigated because they have pedophiles on deck in high areas. And it's a patriarchal society, so they protect one another. These are the organized religions. These are all organized religions. You also got the FLDs who mark their kids under the Nexium program where they come in and brainwash them and take their money. You also have Who else was it? United Nation of Islam. Church of God. The Latter-day Saints. The Latter-day Saints. These are people who practice polygamy. These are the people who marry off their 12 and 13 year old daughters to these 65 year old men. Pedophiles. Latter-day Saints is full of pedophiles. That's the pedophile playground. Because in the Latter-day Saints, the Mormons in Utah, 
they find it perfectly fine to marry off their teenage daughters. Teach them how to be housewives to these old men. And everybody gets a day of having sex with the old man. Sick. These are, these are behaviors that go against the teachings of God. These are the behaviors of people who have twisted the word of God to the point to make it say what they want it to say. Which is why the Bible says, study to show thyself approved rightly dividing the word of truth. Because these are patriarchal, patriarchal men. Men who are in positions of power over women and children. Who are abusing this power in the name of calling themselves a God. And how dare Royal Jenkins think that he took a trip with an astronaut into the sun. What you did was you took a trip with Satan and a false angel of light. And then you come back with these demonic behaviors and you want to call him God. You sick son of a bitch. When I sat up and watched the documentaries on how Randall, the United Nation of Islam, went in and snatched these children. They snatched them. And they didn't give them a better life. They made them indentured servants. And to you parents out there who are giving your children to the nation of Islam with no due diligence. Just because they tell you they come in the name of God. Shame on you. Because you didn't take it before the throne of grace. You paid attention to what a man said. And you allowed them to exploit your children. And now these children are the ones who are killing themselves. It's you. Nation of Islam is you, the 12 tribes is you, Jehovah Witness is all of you. You are the reason that the crystal children, the indigo children, you are the reason that these children are killing themselves because you've indoctrinated them into cults and you send them off the coats in the nation of Islam. Twelve tribes of Judah, you ain't no better. You are trading under the names of God. All of you are trading under the name of God. And you're killing the witness of God. Jehovah Witness, how dare you sit up and tell your people that you are part of the 144,000 when you are not. God never said he was going to welcome a pedophile into heaven to sit on the seat of the righteous or the elect. And you're full of pedophiles, Jehovah Witness. These are documented cases. These are not cases that I'm just making up. These are cases that are on public record. They're documented. And the FBI is investigating. And I hope they find every one of y'all asses guilty. And put you under a goddamn jail. How dare you exploit children. How dare you? God has a penalty for exploitation of children. God has a penalty. A penalty. And it's severe. And you will pay. I promise you God will make you pay for what you've done to these kids. These children are now turning into adults. And they are killing themselves at alarming rates because of the mental torment that you have created in them. And for every child that you have mentally tormented, God will make you pay. I promise you, you will pay. I am so angry when it comes to organized religion. Because this is no better than the Catholic pedophiles who were standing in the place of the priest molesting young children. This is no better than the Boy Scouts who are supposed to be Scout Masters molesting the children. These children have been entrusted with adults, two adults, who have sick, demented minds. And they stand in the place of a sheep. And every one of them is a wolf. They stand there as though they care about children and they don't. Children are the weakest besides the old people. 
they are the weakest. And for the most part, they're so loving and trusting. And how dare you, as a caregiver, as a person who's been entrusted with a child, to abuse that privilege. You need to understand that parental guidance is a blessing from God to give you permission to rear a life of a child is a blessing from God. It is a job from God. The rearing of children is a job given by God. God is entrusting you to bring up the seed in the way that he wants you to bring it up. Not the way you want to bring it up. In the ordinances of God. And you all are failing miserably. God holds you accountable. For how you raise your children. God will hold you accountable. For the lessons they did not get. God will hold you accountable parents for not doing your jobs because you're not taking it as seriously as you should. God will make you pay. He says, suffer little children to come unto me. Suffer little children. That means exploitation of children. That means the abuse of children. That means the mental torment of children. That means all of the mean things that grown people can tend to do to the little people who have no power of their own. And you abuse them. And some of them are molested. And they are treated so wrong. And these are the weakest ones in our society. And the grown people who are sick-minded Go in and they exploit these kids. And all they ever wanted was your love. And God's going to make you pay for that. Because there's a lot of babies. Who are lost. And it's your fault. Because you're not taking the time. Just a few minutes. To show that you even care. Put that there to price. So I'm going to go right now because right now this is the topic that God has on my heart. And I'm very emotional and very sensitive about it because I love my babies. And um, I have a real problem with people who don't treat them right. In your life. When you don't treat a child right, God going to make you pay. And so I'm going to send out a special prayer for my babies. I'm going to take it out to Psalms of the King James Version of the Bible. Sorry about that, Quran. I'm sorry, baby. I'm going to give y'all a song. We're going to read the 28th Psalm for the babies today. On the spiritual channel of Bonnie B. We're going to read Psalm 28, which is a prayer for help and praise for its answer. Okay. Because our babies, they need some help. They need some serious help. And there's a lot of babies who need this help. And their cries are being unheard. And no one is trying to help them. And the social service, you know, they're they're busy and they're tied up. And everybody's about a dollar. So, my people, we are going to pray for these babies. And we're going to ask God for a special anointing on our babies. Because the babies are having it hard. So if you'll join me in Psalm number 28 from the King James Version of the Bible. We're going to read a couple psalms for the babies. 
and we're going to ask God for a special anointing on our babies today. Okay. Here we go. Ah, praise your name, Jesus. Father God, I come before the throne of grace with a heavy heart. I come before the throne of grace for the babies. For the babies, Father God, for the babies. Lord, today you have touched my heart on behalf of the indigos and the Christian crystal children and all the children who are out here with no prayer and no protection. Father God, I offer these children to you. I ask you to go into every household and every child, and especially those children that need your divine protection. Father God, protect them babies. Protect the babies. As we offer the 28th Psalm on their behalf, Father God, we ask that you anoint and you touch these babies and you protect them because in your word, you say, suffer little children to come unto me. So Father, today, on the 15th of February, we offer you our babies. We ask that you protect them as we offer them back to you, Father God. Unto thee will I cry, O Lord, my rock. Be not silent unto me, lest if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my supplication when I cry unto thee. When I lift up my hands towards thy holy oracle, draw me not away with the wicked. And with the workers of iniquity, which speak peace in their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts. Give them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their endeavors. Give them after the work of their hands. Render to them their desert, because they regard not the works of the Lord, nor the operations of the hands. He shall destroy them and not build them up. Blessed be the Lord, because he hath heard the voice of my supplications. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoiceth, and with my song I will praise him. The Lord is their strength, and he the saving strength of his anointed. Save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Feed them also and lift them up forever. In the blessed and eternal name of our Father God, we pray that these words go forth, Father God, and not return unto you void. And that you bless our babies. In Jesus' name we pray. I cry for the babies. I cry for the hearts of the children who are unheard. I cry for the lost souls who don't know they're lost. I cry with the love of God in my heart. And I ask that you all take a minute today and say a prayer for our babies. You all be blessed today. And this is your daily dose of your spiritual vitamin from me, Bonnie B. You be blessed, my beloved, until Jesus brings us back together again. Bye-bye.